I'm going to get you, T-Rex. Chomp, chomp, chomp. <gasps> I did not see you there. Hi, and welcome to Hannah and the Art Gang. I'm Hannah. Do you want to make one of these super cool, gigantic dinosaurs with me today? Well, come along for a cool creation. I always have so much fun playing with dinosaurs, but the only issue is I have such a problem with drawing them. But the good news is I have found an easy and simple way for us to create one. So what you'll need first is a piece of paper and then you're going to do a really scary claw hand and put it like this. I forgot my pen, we can't draw anything without a pen. So with your big claw hand you're going to take your pen and just trace around it very carefully. Do not worry if it's a bit messy because messy plays the most fun. So it should look like this. And now you can add whatever you like. So my dinosaur is going to be a carnivore, so I'm going to do big, sharp teeth. Oh, I almost forgot to give him an eye. So let's just make a small eye. So I'm making jagged little lines. They look a little like triangles to make them super sharp. Ooh, what about some sharp spikes down his back as well? Still doing your sharp triangles when you're doing it. And there is your dinosaur. The next step is to use your scissors. Make sure you get a grown up for this because you could hurt yourself. And then just snip away around the lines. When you're finished cutting, your dinosaur should look a little bit like this. The next step now is to use either crayons, pencils, colours or paint to colour it in. I've decided to use paint, but what colour paint should I use? Maybe we should look at some dinosaurs to have a little help. Ooh, we've got this one. We've got green and brown. This one's orange. I think I'm going to pick brown and green for my dinosaur. Brown oh. and green. There's no need to worry if you don't have a palette. I like to use things available, so today I'm going to use the top of an egg carton. And then I'm going to add my paint. Good job, there's no eggs in here. And then I'm going to get my paintbrushes and I'm going to start painting. Always remember to keep your adults happy by covering up. We do not want to see any paint marks on our beautiful walls at home. Once you've added your colours, you can do even more details like using brown to do little markings on him, maybe even polka dots. And then you can use your finger to even move your markings around and make it even more detailed.
And using your fingers can be very fun. Sometimes you don't even have to use a paintbrush, you can use your fingers. This is really smudgy and fun. You can even use things at home like kitchen roll to make super cool patterns. We better make sure we wash our fingers, we do not want to get these colours on the walls. Once you've finished painting your amazing dinosaur, you can get your adult to come and help you bring it to life by using a lollipop stick or even just a twig you found in the garden. I think I'm going to use green because that's what colour my dinosaur is. And then with a grown up, you can get some sticky tape and just place it on. And now you can go and have fun with your dinosaur. Chomp, 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 chomp. Ah! I hope you've had fun today. I can't wait for you to come and hang out with me again soon. Bye bye. <laughs>